What is going on everyone? My name is Ken, also known as Wiltshire, and welcome to this video tutorial. Today in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to fix your NVIDIA Shadowplay footage and your audio desynchronization issues with it. So if you use NVIDIA Shadowplay feature to record your gameplay on your PC, you may notice that you get audio desynchronization issues in video editing programs such as Adobe Premiere Pro. Now the reason why that is, is that Shadowplay outputs a video file with a variable frame rate. Now this is extremely horrible for video editing software because most of them don't accept a variable frame rate. Only constant frame rates are accepted in most video editing programs because a constant frame rate is the industry standard. Industry standard does not use variable frame rate whatsoever. The only video editing program that I know of that supports a variable frame rate is Sony Vegas and I'm not a big fan of Sony Vegas so I don't use it. I don't use it because I don't like the layout and if I ever want to switch over to a Mac I can do so and edit my videos interchangeably with Adobe Premiere Pro and switch back and forth between Mac and PC. So if we look at the video file in or under a microscope using Media Info, we can reveal that the file is actually a variable frame rate by going to the advanced information settings in Media Info. Now if we scroll down here you'll notice that the frame rate mode is variable and our minimum frame rate is 20 FPS and our maximum is 60. Now that's a huge difference and that's going to cause a major audio desynchronization in Adobe Premiere Pro because Adobe Premiere Pro will not know what to do with the file. So I'm going to show you guys how to resolve this issue using a program called Handbrake. Now Handbrake is one of my favorite programs to use to convert files over if I have this issue. And Handbrake is very easy to use. It's also free, so that's also another positive for Handbrake. Now in Handbrake what you want to do is you want to open up the file that you've recorded. And once we've opened it up in Handbrake, it shouldn't take too long to import into Handbrake actually. What you want to do is you want to select large file size. If you don't do this and it's about over a gig or so, the program will output a file that is not playable or importable. I don't know why it does this, but it does. So make sure you always check off large file size. Even if it's a small video, uh, you will always end up with a file that is playable or importable afterwards. So you can entirely skip over the filters tab and go to the video tab. Now this is what we, re we really want to pay attention to. We want to go to frame rate. You want to select constant frame rate. And in this drop down menu here, you want to select the FPS that you were trying to record at. Now, I was trying to record at 60 FPS, and Shadowplay has outputted one that is about in between that, so I'm going to hit 60 anyway, because that was the one I was trying to record with. Now, for quality, you want to go to constant quality, and you want to jack that all the way up to zero. Now, if you're a little bit limited on hard drive space, I wouldn't recommend doing zero. I'm doing the RF. Uh, quality setting of zero because this is lossless that means you are not losing any quality when converting this file over and I'm quite the quality whore so I like to make sure that my content is as high quality as possible as I can get it you can go to the optimized video tab you can play around with some of these settings but I generally like to leave them here and as for the audio settings what you want to do is you want to change the bitrate to 192 because that is the bitrate that the shadow play program records your audio at you can uncheck the chapters, markers, you don't really need them if you don't really want them. Uh, next what you want to do is you want to click browse and now we're going to select the area or the destination folder that we're going to save our video to. So I'm going to nickname mine test and we're going to save it. And I'm going to hit the start button and this will prepare to encode our video file. Now it shouldn't take too long because I've only uh, rendered a video or rather recorded a video for 48 seconds so it should go rather quickly and handbrake is very CPU intensive so if you have an overclocked CPU you want to make sure that you keep an eye on your temperature values of your processor so once this is done I will come back to you guys in just a moment okay so handbrake has now finished our video and now we should be able to import it into Premiere Pro successfully without having the audio desynchronized from our video now I'm going to put a example of the desynchronized audio at the end of this video and then I will do the one that I've converted over with Handbrake so you guys can get a good comparison of what the video looks like and sounds like when it's not a variable frame rate and when it is a variable frame rate. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if this worked for you guys. If you guys have any questions or issues, leave them in the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer them for you. Remember guys, if it's easy to follow, it's easy to learn and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.